So the HOA mafia heard through the grapevine that they were like, what, what? We can charge people based on the new law in Florida? <laughs> We can rake people over the coals. You know HOAs love that. You know if an HOA can squeeze any fees out of you, that's what they're gonna do. <laughs> as easy as water is wet, fire is hot, HOAs will squeeze you for every dime that you have. And when they saw my video and they said, oh, one HOA is charging one guy 290 or $60,000. Oh, oh, hold my beer. The other HOAs, they're, they're competing. Who can charge the most amount of money and grab as much money from the residents that are staying in the condominiums, that are residents that are staying in the apartments, re for residents that are staying in single family homes. They're trying to squeeze as much money. And how about if I told you? <laughs> I told you, this HOA that we're covering today, $60,000 per residence. Basically $10 million. And they expect all of their residents to come up with that. Life is good. Do you have my money? What? Do you have my money? How could I? Right, right. Too soon. Do you have my money? My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Also, make sure you check in the pinned comment and the description. I have a newsletter. Yes, a newsletter that will give you tremendous value. Also, if you need any type of financing on an, any investment properties, commercial, single families, duplexes, any of that stuff, nationwide, I've been a lender for 20 years. I can assist you with that. Information is in the description and the pinned comment. Guys, listen, this HOA that we're covering today said, hold my beer. We're gonna charge our tenants 10 million. Forget the measly 250. Oh, oh no, man, that, that's peanuts. Wait till we jump in the ring. New challenger. Thicker shock for homeowners in a Pinellas County HOA. They are told they may have to pay up to tens of thousands of dollars to help fund their reserves. Hmm. Comes as many across the Bay Area are grappling with rising fees, and they reached out to 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian to see what's actually required. Homeowners here at the Villas of Carillon tell me they were pleasantly surprised when earlier this year their HOA fees didn't go up. They weren't as pleasantly surprised when earlier this month they got a letter saying they would all have to pay up $60,000 to fully fund the reserves. <laughs> Did you hear that? There was a joke in there that he was like, you know what? The tenants here, the, the owners, they were so happy when they got noticed that their HOA fees won't go up. <laughs> but then the HOA fee said they won't go up. Uh, but we're gonna need that bill for 60K. No, we're not joking. We, we need 60K so your bill doesn't go up. Uh, actually, that was a, a, a letter that was just reflective on you paying the 60K that we never told you about, that we need in, in less than a month, that we need right now. You got 30 days. What? This is what HOAs do, guys. I've done videos on them doing drones, cutting you from insurance. I've done them charging ridiculous amount to seniors. I've done videos on them all. I've, I've told you guys, look, I told you guys this. Stay away from the condos. Didn't I tell you? It was just a matter of time. With this crazy housing market, everyone needs to take care of their mental health. That's why I partner today with BetterHelp, guys. With BetterHelp, we can all have access to a therapist that will give you unbiased therapy if you need it. And guys, listen, mental health is a big, big thing. I've noticed this when I was in the military. I've noticed it in the business world. I've known it in just everyday regular life. And mental health is one of those things that people tend to ignore. And it's something that we should have out in the forefront. Mental illness is no joke. One in five Americans have some issue with mental health, guys. In response to this, companies like BetterHelp will help you connect with a licensed therapist that will help you get through your tough times. If you think therapy is for you, you can join the over 4 million people that are already going through this process. First, you can go to their site and you, and you can use my link that is in the description below and you can do it all from your phone using video chat text messages using your desktop however you feel comfortable you can join now back to the video now imagine imagine you were one of these owners you just bought yourself a condo in this in this neighborhood you think you're doing good you got a great deal on it but now you got to come up with 60k and here's the funny part the 60k is just a tip of the iceberg. Now you have to pay higher insurance. Two insurances, not one, two insurances. You have to pay the HOA insurance and your personal insurance. What are we doing here? Am I owning a home? Am I funding Amazon? I mean, what are we doing here? 
I, I don't get it. Am I running a business secretly that I have no clue about? <laughs> Because all of these expenses are making it seem like I own a business that I make no profit from. That's what it feels like when these guys are coming to you saying, well, well, you know, this roof, it needs to be fixed. Well, stay on top of the roof. Why come and try to collect for me 60K in one month, no advance notice? We are coming to get our check. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. HOAs, when they say they give you an advance notice, they actually mean like a couple of days. Like four days, like, you know, a week at the most. And then you have to pay up. They don't give you six months, a year. All of these ridiculous HOA meetings and all this other stuff. Do you think in the HOA meeting, they say, we're gonna charge you $60,000, come up with the money. No, they don't. You just get a letter in the mail, passive aggressively. I was in shock. I immediately started texting other neighbors. That's a total surprise. It's hmm. a shocking surprise. It's shocking. this letter causing the concern. HOA leaders writing their reserves have not been fully funded in its 20 year history. The community is facing significant financial challenges needing community wide balcony repairs, waterproofing, garage roof replacement, touching on worries about remaining insurable in the future. There's 165 people, residents, each person, families, mm. piece would be $60,000. That's $10 million basically. 9.9 .9 to be exact. Now, I was correct. Look, look at this. Dear homeowner, as the villas enters, it's 20 years as a community. They love to, to sap you up. <laughs> oh, you just read the letter thinking it's some, some regular letter about how great you've been as a, as a tenant or a member of the community, only to find out that it's really a bill. Uh, this is an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird way to start off an invoice of saying, hey, we, we've been friends. It's like that friend or, or that family member. When they come talk to you immediately, you know they're going to ask you for money. <laughs> That's what like an HOA is. They're coming to you. Hey, we've been, we've been pals for 20 years, right? We, we've been pals for 20 years, right? I, I, listen, we've had some hard times, right? Hard times, right? Um... I got somebody to talk to you about. Uh, we, I need about 60K in, in 30 days. What? <laughs> That's what these HOAs are. On a serious note, this is why I'm telling individuals to go ahead and sit on the sidelines. If you can do that. Obviously, everybody's situation is different. And if your situation makes you or see a great deal that you want to purchase, do your thing. But for the most, most individuals, imagine if you were in this predicament. You bought a house. They didn't say this special assessment then. So that means that when you purchase this, you're on the hook. You had no idea this was coming. You thought you were buying you a nice $400,000 condo, right? Yeah, and no tax land. No tax land, yeah, it's the, it, it does have higher insurance than normal, but it's the cost of paradise. So then you go ahead and you're living in your best life and then you get this bill. You're gonna want to call this real estate agent Call the loan officer. Call everybody you, that you possibly can to figure out why is this even legal? How can I buy something and then automatically owe 60K after I buy it? That's what I'm trying to protect you from. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Stay away from the condos. Asking residents to vote on a special assessment to either pay in installments or pay a little more than 11,000 to cover some projects. The fourth mm. option would be to increase the monthly HOA dues by $625 for the next eight years. There will be a lot of people that lose their home. Either they have to sell or they can't make these payments. They'll have a lien put on their house, foreclosures. And homeowners like Tammy Rodifer are wondering why this is all coming at once. We reached out to the property management. The association's attorney says no comment, but this all happening at a time when condo associations are grappling with rising insurance costs and a new state law requiring them to have a certain amount of reserves on hand. And that lady, she is correct. There will be people who lose their homes. There will be seniors that are on a fixed income that won't be able to afford this. One of the things that she said is that people will end up having to selling their home. And that is true. But I just want to add on there that since the special assessment is now known, you phantomly either have to include that there's a special assessment on the listing itself or you pay it before. That's it. 
So if for whatever reason, if you have a buyer who wants to buy that house from you or buy that condo or whatever the property is that has the HOA on it, you cannot transfer over that 60K or that special assessment over to them. You cannot do that. You either have to pay it before you sell it or they're going to have to, the, the buyer is going to have to come up with that 60K or whatever that uh, assessment is. But here's the thing. It cannot be financed. Let me repeat that again. It cannot be financed. What do you mean? How? How have you? Oh, man. What? You're just ruining it. We know most people don't have that. So what do people do? They take out HELOCs. They use credit cards. They use all types of high interest rate things. Stop it. Isn't it funny that a lot of these individuals would not sell? would not sell their home to an individual because they had a 3% rate. But then they take out $200,000, $300,000 at 12% interest on a HELOC just to pay the special assessment. He got cooked. They end up getting a mortgage that they didn't want to get anyway because of the special assessment. Mm, mm, mm. HOAs, though, don't have that same requirement under state law. Obviously, we don't fall in that category, right? So how come you know, we started this in the first place? And they're hoping for transparency and time before any decision is made. And I think the can may have been kicked down the road a little bit on this, but we still are in a position where we could phase in. And also want to add on too, we saw in the previous segment, they were trying to figure out a way. And I hear figure out a way so individuals wouldn't have to come up with the 60K up front. But the point is, is at the longest, it says that you have a year to pay it, and you still have to come up with that huge amount. So it really doesn't save you either way. Either you have high HOA fees that are basically triple, or pay it in four quarterly payments, or you just pay the 60,000 right up front. Does it sound, does it sound too appealing to me? It's trash. And this is the reason why I'm telling you guys this. I caught this a year ago. I let you guys know that these condos are the first to fall. They're the very first thing to see all of these crazy things happen. I did not say that it was gonna be special assessments or, or whatever else that would cause the condo market in Florida to look as bad as it's looking right now, or, or, or HOAs to look as bad, or whatever the case may be. But I knew, I knew that this, this is typically what happens with condos. Obviously, because I'm in the industry, I see it over and over and over again. I probably get data way before most individuals get that data because lending normally st stays ahead of the curve or keeping a finger on the pulse of the housing market or real estate just in general. So I know this is going to happen. It's not a surprise to me. And I just try to share that information. But here's the thing, guys. At the end of the day, the HOA is going to win in the scenario. They have too much power when it comes to the laws. I, I, this is the reason why I stay away from it. But here's the thing, when it comes to insurance, if they, the things that they are talking about, if they don't get those things fixed, the roof, waterproofing, all of these other things, they will not be insurable. Wait, what? Th that's the truth. They will not be insurable. We all know what Florida, what happens in Florida. We just saw another hurricane hit Texas, Jamaica, and all this. This is hurricane season. So we know that if you don't have your place waterproofed and all this other stuff in Florida, it's a ticking time bomb for you to get hit with something and who's gonna pay for that? Insurance isn't gonna pay for it when you have no insurance on the property. And the only way you can get insurance on the property is if you fix that roof, if you fix the balconies and all of the things that have rot, wood rot and all that other stuff. This is America, don't got you slipping up. So here's the thing, at the end of the day, they will be forced to pay that 60K. There is no way that they're not gonna pay the 60K. That's the truth. Now, they may pay the 60K in five years, but they're gonna pay the 60K. And more than likely, I think that the HOA is gonna make them pay it rather sooner than later. Pay back the mother gaming. Just 24 hours. <laughs> Just 24 hours after this story broke. Here is what happened to the HOA board. And more fallout after townhome owners at the villas of Carillon got a letter from their HOA board saying they'd each have to pay $60,000. But last night, a decision on how they would have to pay that money was postponed. And now, 24 hours later, the entire condo board has resigned. Mm, mm, mm. The entire condo board resigned. You know the reason why. <laughs> John was like, oh, listen, 
Y'all ain't gonna have me hemmed up in my old community. These, these people ain't gonna like me. They they see that I'm putting a stamp that says approval on it. You ain't gonna have people looking at me crazy at my golf game. <laughs> The whole condo association dipped out. They said, no, no, thank you. We, we're not going to approve this. I'm definitely not going to approve it with my name, first and last name, saying this is what it is so my whole community can dislike me. That's what's going to happen. The whole community. And you got to remember, most of, these, most of these condo boards, especially HOA boards, there's a, a lot of it's voluntary. It's, it's very low pay. It's, it's just... Someone who wants some power. <laughs> you were like, man, it would have been really good to be in the mafia. But then your second choice is the HOA. Like, that's just what it is. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and volunteer for this, for this HOA. It's the next best thing to the Gambino family. Like, it really is. <laughs> Oh boy. Residents tonight didn't know how or when a new board would be put in place, but those upset over the assessment hope the new board will overturn the vote to pay them. Mm. In St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. Residents still need to figure out what to do about their roofs. The management company at the villa says original construction defects of the roof and gutters 20 years ago caused mm. underlying wood rot, which is why insurers there want them to replace the roof ahead of its normal 30 to 35 year lifespan. Again, like I said, they have to do it based on insurance. It's not a good situation for anyone. I despise the HOAs and, and, and I think that they could have handled that in a better way. But, you know, HOAs are HOAs. That, that's what they're going to do. And this is the reason why knowing is half the battle. This is the reason why education on topics like these are so important so that you can understand and know what's best for you and your family. They may not understand when another condo board or HOA, HOA group is going to come together or whatnot. I get that. I get that. But here's the thing. Every group that comes after that, uh, comes after the one that just uh, quit, they're all going to do the same thing. I just want you to think this. What are the chances that if you stop paying your utility bill or your electric bill, that the utility company will turn off your power? What are the chances? If you decide not to pay them at all, what's going to happen to, to your power? Are they going to turn it off? Maybe they'll give you a break and say, you know what, we ain't going to do that. That's the chances of a HOA saying we don't want your money. Hopefully you got value out of this content, guys. And as always, you won't get all your information from this one video. I need you to watch this video right here. Yes, this one right here. It will give you information on the housing market, financial news, get you in your first rental property. Who doesn't want that? And the information you will get from it will be gold. See you in the next one. Thanks.